morning. It's at hatch 61 here. Before I start the video, I just want you to give you a little heads up. I'm using a different camera today because the one I normally use, my Olympus Tough. Uh, I took it out in the kayak yesterday during this tropical storm that we had, and it wasn't tough enough. It didn't make it. So if the video's off a little bit, if the sound's off a little bit, it's because I'm using my uh, Canon EOS Rebel T3. Uh, I'm not used to using it. I've used ton for like photographs and all that but it's the first time I used it for video so bear with me and uh thanks for watching. <clears throat> Morning internet hatch 61 here. To me one of the most important things to know when you're going out on the trail is what the weather's gonna be like. Uh here in Mattapoiset in southern New England we're just coming out of a tropical storm, Vermine, uh which wasn't as bad as first thought, I mean, we got up to about maybe 43, 45 mile an hour winds here in Mattapoiset, uh, sustained at about 20, 25, nothing earth shattering. But, like I was saying, one of the best things to know when you're going out on the trail is what the weather's going to be like. And for me, what I use is the Davis Vantage View. It's a personal weather station, it's wireless, uh, as you can see it's running right now. Uh, it can run on AC or DC power, so I use it in my runaway camper when I'm out on the road, and I also use it at home. This will sit on one of the end tables where I sit so I can see what the weather's doing all the time. I mean, right now it's showing you, uh, I'm sitting right here, the wind's blowing at about 17 miles an hour, and it'll track everything temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, rainfall. It has a weather center that has graphs, trends, totals. You know, it'll give you the history of what the weather's been like. It's a great unit. So let me show you a little bit closer up of what the console looks like, and then I'll show you what the uh, sending unit that goes outside looks like. So hang on a second. All right, here's the console itself. Uh, it displays all the uh, relevant information. On the left-hand side, you can see the current wind speed, 10 miles an hour. Uh, now this is after the storm has passed through. And since midnight, uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see the number 16 and 0030. That means the highest wind we've had since midnight, and it was at 1230, because that's the time, it was 16 miles an hour. So the storm is clearly, the worst of it has gone by. But I just want to share this with you. Uh, it's a great unit. You're going to really enjoy it if you end up getting one. It'll give you all the weather information you need. It gives you the trends. It gives you history. It gives you everything else. On the uh, top right part of the display, it has the 6972. That's the indoor and outdoor temperature. The uh, humidity, as you can see, outdoors underneath the 69 is 99%. It's a little, little sticky over here. 82% inside the camper. Uh, if you look again at the uh, top left, the 13 right now, and it's got a little uh, triangle pointing toward the, the number. That's the direction the wind's coming from. So uh, the graph on the bottom left is programmable. You can pretty much choose what you want to uh, see on that. Right now I have the wind speed trend. And it's a great unit for you know predicting the next 12, 24 hours, sometimes even out to up to 36 hours. Uh, gives you a good forecast. Also gives you little icons that show what the weather's going to be or and what the weather is. Uh, it's funny whoever programmed this thing back at the uh, the Davis company has a sense of humor because when it gets really windy or it's raining really hard special little things come up where it says uh, wind speed right now. Normally it'll say like if it's really raining hard it'll say it's raining cats and dogs or if it's windy really windy out it'll say hold on to your hat or it comes up with these crazy little sayings so that's the console, so we'll move on from there. Okay, here's the weather unit uh, that sends all the information back to the console. Uh, it can be mounted, normally when I'm home, it's mounted uh, on the house, but today it's mounted on a uh, mobile mount on top of my car so I can get readings from this uh, tropical storm slash hurricane that's right off the coast here in Mattapoisa. So hopefully you can hear this with the wind. I'm trying to block the uh, microphone and I'll show you a quick overall of what it looks like on top of the uh, on top of the car. Hang on a sec. Here's the overall. This is what it looks like on top of the uh, on top of the vehicle. And uh, I will drive with it up there of course because I think that would damage the unit. But when it's up there uh, and you're parked, it'll give you all the readings, it'll give you everything that you're going to need. Uh, it's a great little system for a mobile weather setup, and it works great at home too.
thanks for coming along, keeping me company out here, and taking a look at my weather station that I use. Again, it's, to me, it's one of the most important things to know what you're going to be dealing with as far as weather goes. You need to know what you're going to need for gear, what you're going to need for clothing, and what you're going to need to keep you comfortable while outside. I love being outside, but I don't like being wet, cold, and uncomfortable. So, uh, to me, you knowing what the weather's going to be like is a great plus, and the Davis Vantage view is a big help in that. Uh, it gives you a very accurate forecast out 12, 24 hours, even up to 36 hours, and it'll give you a trend. So uh, the key to knowing what the weather's going to be like is the trend. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for keeping me company out here. This is Hatch 61. Enjoy the great outdoors with a little help from my toys and gadgets. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye. <clears throat>